Music Prize, or more commonly known these days as YAM, is a Australian recorded music industry initiative set up simply to discover, promote and reward Australian music of excellence. Uh, hi, I'm Max White. I'm the Assistant Prize Director of the Australian Music Prize. Uh, I basically oversee the more nuts and bolts administration of the AMP. I manage the albums as they come in, uh, so we receive eight copies of an entry. From the eight copies, uh, five of them, as Scott Sears, goes out to the judges for the judging process. Uh, two of them we retain for our archives, um, and one of them we forward to the National Film and Sound Archive. Uh, so they have a record of kind of the music that's been released in Australia uh, that year. There's 31 judges coming from only three fields, retail, established musicians and music media. So they start judging very much from mid-October in what we call a round one judging. Out of that round one, we'll receive something like 200 entries and we'll produce what we call a long list. That'll be about 30 titles long. Then we get all the judges. We fire them into Sydney in early Jan so they can meet each other and get around a big round table and for as long as it takes, discuss, debate and produce a short list of nine titles out of that long list of 30. Then a month later, in February the 2nd, we announce that short list to the world and during that period, the judges listen and listen and listen to those nine titles until they can form their own opinion of who should win the app. It's purely funded from sponsorship. So basically corporations giving us money because they think it's a worthy cause. Some major sponsors, uh, which at the moment include Red Bull and Coopers and PPCA. And then we have a section called Industry Sponsors, which is really good. It's basically designed for any, any company that stands to profit from a healthy Australian music scene. When the drones won, they were broke, really broke. You know, they could barely afford pizza or to get their guitars fixed, it's just in their own words. And so they, it was all about the money. They said, we can't wait to get $30,000, it's a dream for us. And in all of those interviews, they said, oh, it was about the money, but then six months later, it was more about the leg up that it gave us for our career. Because all of a sudden we were touring Europe again, but we were no longer just another pub rock band from Australia. We were winners of the Australian Music Prize. After the Drones won, it was um, the AMP 2006, which Augie March won. Unfortunately, they split up <laughs> after winning that. The next AMP was won by Sydney duo The Mess Hall, which was fantastic, really well deserved, great record. Um, Jed from The Mess Hall went on to be a judge too, which is something we, we try and do. We try and get previous winners or shortlisted artists to come on board as judges. Eddie Current won the AMP 2008. I think a lot of people maybe were surprised because again, they were outside of Melbourne. They seemed to be relatively unheard of. But again, that's fantastic. I actually really enjoyed Lisa Mitchell's album and that went on to, to win. It was a solid, solid shortlist last year. I wasn't expecting that one to win. I'd be really interested to see what it is this year. Uh, you know, like it's just, it's, you know, so many records come in and I just got to like listen to them all. If you see over there, I've got a big stack of this year's albums that have basically got sorted into ones I haven't listened to yet, ones I have listened to and like, and ones I've listened to and don't really care for. That's what the album's all about is, is finding great Australian music, or it might already be well known, whatever, but, but promoting great Australian music, not just in Australia, but to the world. Mm -hmm.